So let's have a look at the different Shopify plans that are on offer. So you probably already had a sneak preview, I'm sure, uh, but if you haven't, just simply click on this Select a Plan button from the homepage. Now let me just scroll down a bit so we got them all neatly showing. Now you see there are three plans available. We have a $29 per month, a $79 per month, and a $299 per month. Now straight off the bat, you do not need the $299 per month, okay? That is completely unnecessary. So really the decision is between the 29 and the 79. Now, apart from the obvious price difference, the main difference really is this transaction fee down here. You see 2% for the $29 per month, and you see a 1% for the $79 per month. So the transaction fee is simply Shopify's fee for products that you sell on your site. So if you sell something for $100, in this case, they're gonna take $2. And if you sell something for $100 over here, they're gonna be taking $1, yeah? So if you do the maths, you'll see that it's around about $5,000 per month that the $79 per month starts to make sense because of the lower transaction fees. Now I'm certainly doing more than $5,000 per month and I've absolutely no reason to believe why you wouldn't be doing that very, very soon as well. Now that said, I do understand that people are on a budget, particularly when starting out, and the $29 per month really is a very, very good start. Just a couple of things I wanna draw your attention to. This basically gets you start selling with a beautiful online store. And over here, we've got a couple of extras, okay? We've got gift cards, we've got professional reports, fraud analysis, and abandoned cart recovery. Now for me, the most important part of that is abandoned cart recovery, okay? I'm gonna talk about that later on because believe it or not, two thirds of the people who get to the checkout will not pay, they will abandon the cart. So abandoned cart recovery, as you will learn later on in the course, is a super, super important part of a successful e-commerce business. Now we can download apps for free that will do similar things to what Shopify has to offer. However, the fraud analysis tool is essentially unique to Shopify and I'll show you this later as well, but it's Shopify's way of trying to detect any fraudulent payments perhaps on your site, which is very, very rare, but they have a very neat system built into Shopify that enables that detection. Things like gift cards and professional reports, they're nice to have, but they're really not essential at this stage. So make your choice between these two, between the 29 and the 79. Uh, I will take the 79 because I wanna show you these features so that you're fully aware of absolutely everything Shopify has to offer. So I'm gonna click on choose this plan. And then it's just a question of filling in your billing details. Now I do want to draw your attention towards this billing cycle, okay? Just leave this on bill me once a month because you can stop and start Shopify when you want, okay? You want that flexibility. There's no reason, in my opinion, unless you feel strongly otherwise, to go for a one, two or three year plan at this stage. So I shall fill in this form and I'll see you in the next lecture once I'm done.